I was a drunk man, I go to the club, and that did make me empty, right? But when I come here to the Mesquita, I feel full myself, my soul. Go to the psychologist, I already went to the psychologist. Go to take some pills, I already taken every pill there is in the market. When I accepted Islam, suddenly all became good, all the bad disappeared, and now I'm more happy than ever. Amidst the whispers of the wind through the tropical forest and the rhythm of the waves against the shore lies a story untold. The unseen story of the rise of the Muslims in Honduras. A testament to faith, resilience, and the power of community quietly threading its way into the fabric of this vibrant nation. This is the Honduras they never show you, where the population, a 99% ratio of reverts in the Muslim community, where you pray Salah and you feel the abundance of the congregation practicing the Salah behind the Imam, where you feel the love and the spirit of true Islam, people who've given up everything for the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Welcome to the Muslims in Honduras. معكم اخوكم فهد حميده عبد الهادي جويده مصري مقيم بدوله هندوراس امام المركز الاسلامي هنا مركز السلام بمدينه تيجوسيجالبا دوله هندوراس ونعمل في الدعوه اسال الله عز وجل ان يتقبل منا ومنكم وان يجعل اعمالنا خالصه لوجهه الكريم عدد المسلمين في هندوراس حقيقه عدد قليل جدا 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 يعني ربما لا يتجاوز 1000 مسلم في هندوراس معظمهم من المسلمين الجدد ان هندوراس لا يوجد بها جاليه عربيه مسلمه او جاليه مثلا باكستانيه مسلمه او جاليه من بلاد مسلمه ولكن معظم المسلمين في هندوراس هم من المسلمين الجدد من اهل البلد اسلموا بفضل عز وجل بعد ان قرأوا بعد ان تعرفوا على الاسلام الحمد لله يعني كلهم بفضل عز وجل على خير الان في 2024 اربع مساجد رئيسيه يعني مسجد في تيجو سيجالبا مسجد في سان بيدرو مسجد تشلوتيكا ويوجد مسجد الان في تيلا مي برادر مارسيل بسم الله ناو وي جوينغ تو هيز هاوس ذا بوردر تاكسي توك اس تو ذا ماكسيمم بوينت ذات كود ويتش واز داون ذير اند ناو وي ويل بي جوينغ اب از اباوت 15 مينيت هايك اند ذس برادر دوز ذس افري داي ذاتس ذا سربرايزنج بارت ان رمضان هي كومز بيفور افطار 45 مينيت هي جوز داون ذن هي تيكس ذا باس فور اباوت ان اور اند هاف اند ذن هي ايتس افطار اند تيكس ذا لاست باس بيفور تراويح هي كان بري تراويح كاز ذا لاست باس اند كومز باك is what people do for iman subhanallah what was your like when he accepted islam what were you thinking like what happened to your father well you know i thought that it was a good thing for him because as you can see he is a very lonely man yes he's always been like that but when he converted to islam i i saw a new smile on his face again uh, i am happy because my two of my son uh, I rise to Islam for all that I am happy. I rise to Islam for curiosity because because uh, in first time um, I I listen about Islam uh, in other way for example uh, the media is only saying that the Islam is bad that Islam uh, do many bad things in the world but when I read about Islam is the best way to to live I find in the on the street and um, one place that selling used book I I bought one I brought one I made a shahada in the Central America commercial center in Tegucigalpa with my brother uh, Ayman. My message is that my time they are Muslim, um, I try to say to them that, that Islam is the best way for everybody because uh, uh, it's, uh, our guy come from Allah. And what is the message that you have for people who don't know Islam? Well, we had we had we had to transmit the message, for example, to people that don't know about the Islam, no, don't know people Muslim, because uh, uh, he they are interested in other things, for uh, in other um, thing, for example, uh, football, um, uh, political, 
uh, I never seen, never look for some looking the best way to live in this country, in this uh, this zone, America Latina. Uh, the people only know about the uh, Christianity. Uh, we need like Muslim to work to try to teach to other people about Islam. Bueno, eh, el mensaje para los her eh, hermanos hondureños que traten de, de ver más objetivo eh, el aspecto religioso, pues, porque de repente hemos estado equivocados y aunque uno le parezca que está siguiendo los uh, eh, los mandamientos de Dios, pues, pues siempre tenemos alguna tendencia a, a olvidarlo y hacer cosas que no están permitidas. Pues. And to the people who want to come to Honduras, I, let me tell you that they can definitely come because in in the whole in the whole media of, of the whole world, they are going to talk bad yes or yes about something. But you've been here; it's like really peaceful, really nice. You can meet good people. You can have great moments and. I wait you here. And how long has you been up here? Um, the, the 2019. 2019. Wow. How, how does he get his food? Like you go, what's his routine for? Food, cooking. Well, he cooks in, uh, in, in in the fire. You go to the grocery food. market, buy for one week. Well, I I, I buy only the thing that I need. <laughs> my, uh, I, the freezer is out of order. Uh, it doesn't work. I, I, I make only for the time. For uh, example, uh, 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 few, few things. Few like things. lunch, dinner. For the day. For the day. day. Oh, one day, day for day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. wow. You have a very inspiring father. Yeah, I know. Thank you. At the beginning, I was like lost and doubtful about everything that happened to me. I didn't know how to explain how things happened. But when I became Muslim, I, I don't have to explain anything. The only one who has the, the explanation and the reasons for what all is happening is Allah. And that's only the thing that I have before. Well, I was raised in a family of Christianity, but I never had that interest because I knew that something was wrong in, in that religion. I don't know what it is, but it, it didn't convince me. And people, when I asked them about God, they gave me the name Jesus, which I didn't believe. I know he's a good person. He was a good man. Yeah. But he's not God. He, right. He can, he can help me to be near him, but the only answer is God is one, and he has no, no image here with us right now we can see him but we can feel him except islam uh, some days i just walk into my work and i see a poster they say as uh, masjid and i get in i see the sheikh we talk each other we have uh, some conversation and i make the shahada the same day something tell me that's gonna be my religion something tell me in my heart in my brain that is my religion i was a drunk man i smoke cigarettes i go to the club and that is make me empty right but when I come here to the mesquita, I feel full myself, my soul. I was an atheist because I don't believe in any God. In the religion in Honduras, the most of the people have is uh, evangelical. And they only talk about money, about the diezmo, and some of that things that people talk uh, bad things about each other in his back. And I say, nah, that is not for me. The first thing I felt in myself with was peace when I, I get entered into Islam. The biggest difference is I have a, I don't know what you mean, what you're saying this in English, a goal for my life, you know. I have a proposito, purpose in my life, you know. Before Islam, the purpose of my life was for parties, having a good time when I think it was uh, having a good time with my friends. In one sentence, my purpose in my life, in the, my Islamic life, is giving to the people the choice and open their eyes to become Muslim because my life changed in that day. I have a dream that Sheikh told me when I have a dream. If I was a good Muslim man, I'm gonna go to Al Jannah with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and I have that wish in my life. I learned about myself, uh, how I can pray, uh, how many times I can make in the day by myself. Uh, I say, this is like me. 
dislike me. And right now, I have no doubt that the only religion that can exist in this world is the Islam. If you are atheist, I'm gonna give you this in just one sense. You become the Islam. The only way you're gonna be good, you're gonna feel good, your life is gonna be better, your finance is gonna be good too, your health is with the Islam. Salam alaikum and welcome all the Muslim people to Honduras. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Ismail Alim. I'm really from Trum for the Islam. Uh, there was name Trum for of the class, but we don't believe in a class. We believe in a Islam. Then that my kicks. Bring us a This is Said Alim Abdullah Abdul. Over 30 years, I've been Muslims for since 1983. Accept Islam. I see. I see our brother praying. So my spirit know that was the true prayer to Almighty God. So before Islam, I was I was Christianity. I was singing song in a uh, Christianity. But when I see the brother pray, my spirit tell me that was the uh, straight prayer to Allah. That's why they bring me to be Muslims. I was 14 years old. Now from uh, Eritrea, uh, I'm a 55 years old now. Long time. So from a good while ago, we we may have intention to have a march here in Trumfo. Also, but Alhamdulillah, Allah always looking to us. So when the brother came from Canada last year uh, for Ramadan, so I told my brother we we may supposed to we need our march in Trumfo. Alhamdulillah. So we will, I went to Tegucigalpa to uh, to break due uh, uh, a Ramadan. So I meet uh, I meet Chef Fat. I tell Chef Fat we 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 want our march in Trumfo. The same time, uh, our brother called from uh, I think uh, South Arabia. So he handed the brother to me. I told the brother so I have a north land here in Trumfo de la Cruz, Trumfo del Islam. So he tell me go take a picture for the for the land. I came to Trumfo. I take a picture for the land. Also, they provide they provide the market here. Alhamdulillah, we already have the market. حدثنا عن حاجيات نظورس والمسلمين في هندوراس فهي كثيرة جدا ولكن أول أمر أول ما يحتاجه أو ما تحتاجه هندوراس هم الدعاء يوجد كل في الدعاء في هندوراس بشكل كبير جدا وده يعني عامل لنا مشكلة أو حاجز ما بين المسلم الجديد وبين تعليم المسلم الجديد لأن المسلم الجديد يحتاج لمعلم فإذا لم يوجد المعلم حدثت المشكلة تأخر في تعليمه أصبح دينه رقيق يعني ضعيف أن مع وجود المعلم يتعلم الوضوء يتعلم الصلاة يتعلم التوحيد يتعلم السيرة يحسن من أخلاقه يتغير فضل عز وجل كل الأشخاص الذين يعني قمنا بتعليمهم تغيرت حياتهم تغيير تام بفضل الله عز وجل لذلك أول شيء تحتاجه هندورس وأهم شيء تحتاجه هندورس so we're ending off the trip in Trunfo de la Cruz and we are about to head back to San Pedro Sula inshallah have a star there with the brothers meet some of the reverts there meet the sheikh there inshallah get some last advice and move forward we just dipped in the ocean Atlantic Ocean Alhamdulillah Caribbean vibes fighting the waves it was so beautiful Alhamdulillah I just want to share like this appreciation to everybody that is watching this we had a beautiful vibe and your love and your support means everything assalamu alaikum